Uh, we're here with Nick and Ryan outside St Mary's, born with 3-1. Nick, how did you feel about that? Um, well, I don't really know. Unbelievable. I think it's brilliant, our voices are a bit yeah, it's, hoarse. Um, it's one of those things that you sort of get used to coming here and being really, really disappointed. Mm. So then when you're not, it just makes it all the more special. Ryan, did it make you worried when Saints scored their penalty? Did you think, OK, this is Absolutely. where it happens, I mean, the game turns at this point? Absolutely. I mean, it's what Bournemouth do, I suppose. We, um, to be honest, today we were really, really compact at the back. Mm. And, um, I mean, it was an unfortunate penalty concede. Yeah. But, I mean... It was fantastic today. Well, Does it annoy you that on Twitter and social media platforms, Saints fans are probably going to be like, "Look, it doesn't matter. We lost that game. The real South, the, the real South Coast derby is going to be on Tuesday, or does it not?" I don't, don't care really. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't really give a shit. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> fine. No, don't really fine. give a monkey. Yeah. Um, just I, it's, to be honest, there's two teams, and we care about us. I don't yeah. really care what they say. When they're all leaving, we don't care. They're leaving. We're just having a really good time. So it, yeah, it was, a very, it was a very, very mad game. To be honest, it was a game of two halves. Mm. To quote an uh, old football cliche, yeah. but um, first half, it. I, I thought we were fantastic. Second half, we we dug in deep, and um, yeah. What uh, Bournemouth players stood out for you today? First half, I'll be honest. First half, I thought Rico was brilliant. Yeah, I genuinely did. And then second half, he tailed off, he, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He did tail mm. off. And I, but I think they targeted his side. Um, Cook and Ake. Cook obviously gave away the penalty, which is a shame. But they they were pretty solid, like cleared over and over again. Stacey was a lot more solid today than on the yeah. weekend. Um, and King again, just like as an outlet. He's mm. Like, I, I think I know he doesn't like it, and I know he says he wants to be striker. But King on the left wing, I think is our, his best wet, left he or right. A lot of it's his best position. He can pick it up deep and just drive and just exactly. completely relieve the he pressure. He causes a lot of problems. He's very strong. He's uh, he c you just don't know what those wing backs are going to do when you know mm -hmm. somebody like King is. If he had the final product more, he wouldn't be with us. But he doesn't, so I'm fine. He can stay with us. <laughs> Did it surprise you that Fraser was benched today? Because I honestly thought, honestly that Harry Wilson would be dropped because he's apart from his set piece goals I mean I know he scored today so he's just going <laughs> to disprove that but I honestly thought that he would be benched ahead of uh, you know for Ryan Fraser to come in but yeah. obviously I it worked I thought, yeah, yeah, I thought sure. guaranteed I thought I, th I was really expecting Solanke and Wilson to be benched today and we go five midfield with, with Lerma coming in and Fraser coming in but I, I was saying to people in the pub before the game if we keep playing people for one game maybe two games mm. and not actually giving them a run of games they won't ever get the feel of it so yeah. letting Solanke letting Stacey letting Rico have a bit of run of games is going to make all the difference we've won two in a row now so just carry on doing this so how are you feeling about the season now surely you know the optimistic you know, like the optimism levels are sky high yeah. like where are we going to finish what top four or what I doubt, <laughs> I doubt we'll beat Liverpool but I think second <laughs> who knows yeah, possibly third. Yeah, yeah. yeah. by tomorrow. No, I think. Um, but, I mean, what would what would represent a successful season at the moment? Well, we know for sure that we can uh, attack really, very, very, very well. And um, you know, I, I fear for the back sometimes when we go forward, um, we leave holes in the back. But going forward today, I mean, it it made a difference. Yeah, yeah I mean, if we can outscore. Exactly. Them, it doesn't. It doesn't really yeah, matter. And with Lloyd Kelly coming back, if Franny coming back, we yeah. we might be all right. I Our team's only going to get better looking, isn't it? <laughs> <coming back. laughs> yeah. Sermon coming in, absolutely lovely eyes. I'm starting to think uh, that Eunuch should be playing at the back, given your height. I'm trying to get on a on a on a step stool here. To get I had, to this, say is, this is one. I, I I had a good season at Townsend Spartans. Yeah, and I played centre back, and I, I thought I really impressed. And I was we were in League One then. I thought yeah. I genuinely had an opportunity. But well, I think, you know, Eddie, now, I think it's missed. You know, Eddie, if you're watching. He's your man. But anyway, is, doesn't it make a difference when we win early on a weekend, yeah. whole weekend to enjoy? I'm going to play golf twice now. <laughs> Unbelievable. And I don't even care. Yeah. Because it's done. I'm just going to go to the pub. Yeah. Good luck. Uh, I think we will too. In a row. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Yeah.